Today on the channel, we hop off the ropes for a Jax throwback review to the Off the Ropes series with Batista, Brock Lesnar, and JBL. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax unboxing and review, a throwback edition today, as we unbox some Ruthless Aggression style figures from the Off the Ropes series. But remember, for your modern day wrestling figure needs, to hit up Ringside Collectibles and use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So we're going to kick it off here with the Off the Ropes Storytelling Adventure Time. Of course, the Off the Ropes series started out as another subset of the Ruthless Aggression line available at Walmarts, Targets, all that kind of stuff. It also started off with a mixture of parts. Some TTL figures were put in this line with Ruthless Aggression. Some mixing body styles. Very, very interesting, weird line for sure. And then it did transition away from traditional retail where that's where the ring rages, the Ruthless Aggression, the Adrenaline, the tre Treacherous Trio stayed. These ended up becoming Rite Aid store exclusives. And if you were like me, you didn't know what Rite Aid was because I do not have any Rite Aid Aids in my state. Uh, very, very interesting. It is like a Walgreens. CVS if you guys don't know so of uh, me I didn't know a lot of these even existed back in the day and honestly most of the time these were just direct repaints lazy repaints things like that there was not a lot of bells and whistles for the off the ropes line and just recently on social media somebody posted they went to one of their stores and still saw one of these out there so these are even still hanging around in deepest darkest parts of the country apparently so an interesting, interesting line, uh, not the most fondly remembered, but always an interesting one, and some of the rarest figures ever. Of course, we know Stacey Keebler, her only Ruthless Aggression style figure ever released was in this line. So there's some weird uh, figures in here, there's some gems and some jewels as well. So let's kick it off here, and let's start with Brock Lesnar. Now, this is an early off the ropes. This is Series 7. They were still available at Walmart. Check out that price tag. $6.84. What a time to be alive that was. Uh, just some pocket change compared to figures this day and age. But you guys know inflation. That's how it goes. But off the ropes, always bright packaging on these. And Brock Lesnar is no exception. Has a little accessory action. We'll talk about that. But a lot of reuse from prior Brock Lesnar figures. Not a whole lot difference here. Just really dumbed down version of the Ruthless Aggression. Uh, you got or SmackDown, Brock Lesnar on the bottom. 684, like I said, Series 7. On the back, it's all about that promotion. We'll talk about this here. Let's see what they're promoting. Of course, they're promoting the championship title belts for kids. The Oiled Elimination Chamber, a real good one there. And they're promoting Ruthless Aggression Series 7 with, once again, Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, Matt Hardy, Chris Jericho, Kane, and Chris Benoit. Adrenaline Series 5 with the world's greatest tag team. The old parking lot brawl 2-pack. Rey Mysterio and Billy Kidman. So without further ado, let's get after it. Let's get Brock out of the package here. Let's see what's going on here. Got his... Is and there it is off the races. See you later. See you later, Spider Man style. And then we get the gray steel chair. Guess what, guys? We've seen a steel chair a million times, especially if you're following along on my classic superstars reviews that we're doing here on the channel. A lot to be seen there. And then we got old Brock, no elbow pads, no knee pads, just trunks and boots, and just happy to be there. That's what he is. This is early Brock, uh, but very, very cool still. See you later. Up high, goodbye. Uh, always fun getting Ruthless Aggression figures out of the package. Very tight joints, very sturdy feeling, and Brock, no different. Feels extremely sturdy, but very, very plain Jane, as you can imagine. Like, this is the black, and that's it. He does have black wrist tape. He does got a skull on his butt, so he's got a little something going on there. And this is prior to Brock and his chest tattoo and all that stuff. So we do get the arm tattoo up top, and we get the big skull on his back going on. And then all day long, I think you know this is Brock Lesnar. If you see this head, somebody just gave it to you and say, yeah, it's Brock Lesnar. Uh, it seems like the paint on top's a little unfinished, but I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Uh, walking through articulation here, they're going to be the same for all three, so we're going to walk through it with Brock. We'll skip the rest. Uh, but arms go all the way around. Of course, you get the bicep cut. You do get single jointed elbows, wrists back and forth, up and down, waist articulation. You do get legs up. I mean, it is what it is. Just forward and back of course uh, single jointed knees and then ankles up and down and that's all you get you get a little head movement as well and you're off to the races with little brock lesnar but a guy you had to have in the ruthless aggression style 
Brock, a hallmark of the Ruthless Aggression Age. That's where he came to prominence, I would say. Uh, very cool. There's definitely better Brock figures out there. But very cool if you're in a Rite Aid store or you're in a Walmart in this example. And you got your grandma with you. And grandma, let me get a toy, let me get a toy. Hey, this is the perfect thing to get there. The old Brock Lesnar. So there it is, Brock Lesnar. Off the ropes, Jack Series 7. Now we have turned our attention to the Rite Aid exclusives. We're all the way up to Series 12 with Dave Batista, another guy, a stalwart of the Classic Superstars line. And this packaging always reminds me of summer for some reason. It just looks like a summertime promotion, summertime figure, and it definitely looks like something that you'd be really excited. Grandma took you to Rite Aid. She had to get her pharmacy prescriptions, and you're in the toy aisle hanging out, and Grandma says, okay, pick one. And you got this Batista for like $20 at your local Rite Aid. Because we know Walgreens, CVS's, all that stuff, their figures are always so expensive. Uh, but you saw Batista there. It's summertime. It's a nice summer day. There's no school. You see this packaging. You get like an orange sun kissed or something. You're just off, off to the races for summertime. And Dave Batista's coming home with you. Uh, very cool packaging. On the back, promotion, 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 as usual with Jax. They were the art of promoters. UPC's warnings as well. Promoting Off the Ropes Series 12, Elijah Burke, Tommy Dreamer, Great Kali, Jeff Hardy, Mr. Kennedy, and Batista. Deluxe Aggression 13, Triple H, Stone Cold, John Cena, Cody Rhodes, The Miz, and Rey Mysterio. And then Adrenaline 28, which is funny. You get the exact same Elijah Burke as in an Off the Ropes set. You get CM Punk with him, Mr. Kennedy and Edge, and Umaga and Mr. McMahon. So a lot of reuse, as I said, in the Off the Ropes line, uh, and no different in most of them. And this Batista is an interesting one, uh, as we're losing stuff again. See you later up high. See you later, Spider-Man style. See you later, Spider-Man style. There it goes. And we get Batista in the plastic prison. There he is. Uh-oh, I think we might got some paint loss on the butt here. We do. I think uh, over time, we've had some issues. Pull them out. See you later. Goodbye. All right, this Batista here. What do we got? Yeah, we do got a little... Ooh, it's a chip. It's a chip in the plastic right out of the package, right on his butt there. That isn't good. And then you got the Batista logo, and it looks like they spelled his name wrong. <laughs> he spelled his name wrong, and they got a little... Like, they tried to correct it here. I don't know if this is hand-painted or what. And they said, you know what? We're just going to send this off. It's going off to Rite Aid anyways. Who cares? Uh, so not the best attention to detail there. You do get his big back tattoo. Back tattoos were all the thing. Just ask Brock and Batista. Uh, and then you got his arm tattoos. And of course, much like Brock, Batista has a lot more ink in this day and age than he had back then. But it is a by the numbers Batista at the time. You do get knee pads, get that head we saw numerous times, same body style, etc. Really the only thing that's different is the trunks. And these trunks are plain Jane. Did he ever wear these trunks that just say animal? It's like in uh, just Courier New Font or whatever, or Aerial Font, just very plain. I don't think he ever wore these trunks. But this is something different. This is the only time this was released in the Off the Rope series. Uh, but definitely not the best Batista. This is only for somebody like me that has to have the entire collection. That's the kind of person this one needs. Or a kid that's going to play with it off to the side. That That's all you need there. But this Batista, it's okay for what it is, but don't go out of your way to get this one. Uh, and I probably spent like 15 bucks on it, which is about $14 too much, really. Uh, but it is what it is. But there's old Batista. There's Brock Lesnar. Now we turn our attention to another guy of the Ruthless Aggression Age, old JBL. But this is a weird one. Once again, this is in Series 8. Just didn't really feel like JBL because it didn't really look like him at the time. So he was kind of in between gimmicks here. Just a very strange look at JBL that we saw numerous other times. Just a few little differences here and there. But he does at least come with an accessory in the title belt, of course. But we get JBL down the bottom of the glamour shot. Looking more like the JBL we know. On the sides, there's nothing. But on the back of the package, if I can hold the package. There it is. Bright, colorful background going on. UPC's warnings. Let's see who's in all these cross cells here. Oh, we're talking pounders. Oh, the talking pounders. I remember those. Hot garbage. Never looked at those. Not for me. Stun action ring, of course. That's always a good one. And then you got Ruthless Aggression Series 12 with Booker T, Chris Jericho, Eric Bischoff, Kurt Angle, Randy Orton, and Rey Mysterio. Adrenaline Series 10, Trish and Christian, Randy Orton, Triple H, Doug Basham, and Danny Basham. So, cross-sell city going on right there. Let's get old JBL out of the package. The old Rite Aid exclusive. There he is. See you later. Goodbye. And Spider-Man style, see you later. And see you later again. So, there it goes. Plastic Prison time. He does come with that title belt. Got to have that title. That's the WWE Championship at the time. Him, Eddie Guerrero held it. Hogan held it few others out there off to the races see you later up high goodbye uh and like i said we've seen this belt a few times we even saw it in the classic superstars line as well so they got the most out of their molds with this title belt 
good enough for me. Then we get down to old JBL, Bradshaw himself. It definitely looks like Bradshaw, but I can think a lot of people in this day and age would be a little confused seeing this Bradshaw head. They might not know who this is exactly. Articulation the same as the others. We do get some white wrist tape. You do get the blue trunks, the black knee pads, the black boots. But we do get in gold JBL on his butt, so you know all day long who this is, of course. Uh, but it's just a JBL by the numbers, just plain Jane action figure, a hallmark of the Off the Ropes line, as I've said numerous times. So uh, about one of the plainest ones. Would have been great to have, I think even over the uh, title belt, I would have rather had a white cowboy hat with him. Maybe that's just me, but I would have preferred that uh, easily uh, over the title belt. But it is what it is. But we got Batista, we got Brock, we got JBL. Three main eventers, three world champions in their time. You can't go wrong with that right there in the Jacks Off the Ropes edition line. But what say you guys out there? Could you rank these three? I guess I'm going Brock, Batista, JBL. That's how I'm going to rank them. But you guys tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if your grandma ever took you to Rite Aid. If you ever picked up some off the ropes figures, let me know in the comments below on that as well. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Check out the Patreon link in the description below. Your best way to support the channel. You get early bonus content videos like this months before traditional YouTube most of the time. Uh, exclusive content, bonus content, and of course monthly giveaways. ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. You can support the channel over there. And then also follow on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter and Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for a little JBL Batista and Brock Lesnar, I'm Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.